Desolate Dome tutorial. I'm doing that one. I'm doing, I don't even know who was asking for it. All right, let's do Desolate. And actually, I haven't even got plat on that yet, so. All right, uh, I'm going Mantis. No, Randy Savage, not yet. Yellow belt, maybe. Let me go and have a look at some um, that in a sec. Yes, Haunted, you missed the green belt attempt, but it'll be on video on demand. Say hi to everybody on YouTube, please, because this video will be there. No, I'm not going to be joining a party. I have a piece of hair in my eye. Here we go. All right, detailed tutorial, desolate dome, let's go. First one, uh, first obstacle, roll forward. It's a great lesson. You come here for quality content. Uh, I think to get the height here, you kind of need to scratch your nose a couple times slide which is lifting your i mean yeah, a few different ways you can do it but i'd probably go down here down to the back lift your front wheel up let me try that feels more advanced than it needs to be let me try this uh, that might be better Okay, that's cool. So, off the start, lean forward. Probably only accelerate. Uh, just a tap. Uh, sit back. And you want to land on the flat. You want to land with your whole bike on the flat section. Lean back, and then accelerate and lean forward. Yep. That's the tip. Uh, with this one... Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, with this one, I would probably sit back on the transition but only just enough so where your front wheel doesn't hit that first barrel. Like, if you if you rock back too far, you don't, you, you're going to struggle to make the height. So you kind of want to let your front wheel go up the curve, but only tilt back just enough so your front wheel doesn't hit the first barrel. And then when your back wheel hits, lean forward. Checkpoint two. Uh, with this one, all right. The slow approach, you probably can land, steady yourself, throttle control, steady yourself again. Yeah, you can do that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably the first one. It's kind of land, steady yourself, roll backwards, and just use a good bit of throttle control. And the trick part here is obviously going to be to jump over these stupid tackling bags. This is why it's taken me so long to put this tutorial together, because I don't like them. But I would just sit backwards, and you sort of lift yourself over them. Equally, if you know your consecutive bunny hops, pretty straightforward to get up and over like that. Sorry if that I kind of skimmed over a really hard technique, but there you go. Um, but the main thing is just when you get when you get to the platform just before the the, the sled, um, which is actually what those things are. They're not tackling bags; they're bloody sleds. They usually attach to sleds. They're the ones I've used. Um, lift your front wheel up and kind of just power through them. Um, with this one here. What you want to do is actually do a little bunny hop to get your rear wheel to tap that uh, sort of uh, platform in front of you or the sort of concrete pillar in front and then do another rear wheel hop off it. So a little one and then a big one. And that's what's going to get you up and over. Little one, big one. There might be a... I mean, I don't think you can just sit on that and make it over. No. So you really just one, two. So it's a little one. So forward back, sit back on the bike and wait until you get up on the platform and then do it it happens quickly but and the main thing is keep your front wheel down as well the higher your front wheel is the harder it's going to be to hit the checkpoint uh, from here i'd go from a seated position accelerate while leaning backwards and then lean forward and kind of just let gravity do the rest for this checkpoint uh well okay if i'm doing a tutorial for people that are new uh, I would get as much speed as I can, reverse all the way back up, stay seated, and then just lean forward when you get up here. If you get stuck here, you just throttle control to hold yourself in place, roll backwards till most, to your back wheels most of the way down the curve, and then just, just accelerate. The bike will lift up naturally. <sighs> I hate this. What I do here is slide it. So I lift my front wheel, and you can go over the whole thing like that. So if you want to make this easy for yourself, lift your front wheel, get the slide right, and you should be able to make it the whole way across. Yeah, straight over. Uh, if you get stuck in between, it's not they're not hard. Um, the advice I'll give to people 
is you actually want to knock them over with your front wheel on your way through. So lean forward a little bit more than you're used to, and you can push them like that. Uh, next thing. Uh, again, I'd kind of... Yeah, so what I do here is kind of slide and then land with your front wheel. So when I say slide, it's really about lifting your front wheel through that curve and leaning forward. And then, yeah, just tap your back wheel and you'd, uh, you'll make it up to this one. This next one, I think, is easy. Not to do consistently, but to get over. So that's just a really big bunny hop. Bigger than you probably realize, to be honest. So you've just got to make sure you use every millimeter of the ramp and land with your back wheel. Once you hit the checkpoint, you're good. This thing will come at you and usually do that to you. If When you're starting out, it doesn't matter. Um, but again, like I said, hit it, lean forward more than you think you need to. Um, you need to bunny hop, but you kind of dig your front wheel into it and then just adjust land stay steady yourself on to the next checkpoint i went too far uh for this next one landing on a slope slash uphill landings lesson literally what we practiced right set yourself in the air adjust the rotation throttle control roll back go through i don't have to go through that one much do uphill landings early and often um this is an overhang which I don't teach, and I'm really regretting the fact I didn't teach that in-game. But what you want to do here, through the transition, sit back more than you normally would to lift that front wheel. And it's about timing. You see how I sort of did that there, where I kind of got myself almost upside down? And it's just about lean forward to get the front wheel over, and then when the back wheel's about to hit, right? So, yeah, sit back to get the spring. Lean forward to get the front wheel over, and then lean back to get the back wheel out of the way. And if the back wheel doesn't hit, then you just adjust, steady yourself, next checkpoint. Intense skill. Welcome to the University of Trials. For this one, uh, bunny hop, steady yourself however you need to. And then I would just accelerate. Um, ah, so the trick, the trick there though, and by the way, you can you can do that in one hit, endo, blah, blah, blah. But too advanced. If you're watching this for the tutorial, too advanced. If you're watching it for the stream, then maybe you're okay. So steady yourself while leaning forward. Good amount of throttle control. Roll back. The key, as I've told you in a stack of places, is to just let go of leaning for a split second and let the front wheel rise up. And that's usually enough to get you into the right spot. Uh, not that time. Let's try again. Roll backwards, let go of that, and then lean forward again. Yep, so just let go of the leaning on your way up and make sure you get enough speed. All right, this one. Um, the bottom part, just lean backwards. I would actually stay in a seated position while I'm here, while using throttle control to steady yourself. Uh, the reason you stay in a seated position is you want to get your front wheel up off the ground pretty quickly. So when I accelerate now, the front wheel is going to lift up. I'm going to lean forward immediately. And then I'm going to sit back on the bike, I think. Yeah. And then only when I get up to this ledge do I lean forward again. And it's that little... Uh, I'll do it again. But that little adjustment of the back wheel. So... You kind of got to lift the back wheel up. So you have to bunny hop up here. Uh, and then... Yeah, and then once the back wheel's out of the way, you're good. And then from this position, uh, all I do is just let go of leaning again. Accelerate and that re-grip. So you sit back on the bike when you're in the air. Uh, and then uh, lean forward again when you hit the platform. Checkpoint 14. This one. Uh, just do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so. You don't even need to bunny hop that. Yeah, actually, so this is just timing. All I would do is sit back when I'm in the air. So accelerate 100%. Sit back. And then lean forward at the right time. Yeah. Accelerate, sit back, so land while sitting backwards, and then flick forward, sit back, forward. That's as simple as that. So yeah, from neutral position, accelerate 100%, sit back, forward. If you get the timing right there, you're done. And that is Desolate Dome Detailed Tutorial. I hope that helped you at least get silver gold-ish. Once you get that, you're on your own. But there we go. Hopefully that helps people on YouTube and hopefully people at Uni of Trials on Twitch right now or watching the video on demand on YouTube enjoyed that as well.